up to now we've used uh, we've used uh, references, mutable references to uh, to change uh, all the things that we've made in uh, in Rust. Um, on top of that, there's something called interior mutability, which lets you uh, make uh, make changes. Uh, you know, well, interior means on the inside, so you know, changing on the inside, and that is uh, that is because. Um, when when you're using uh, interior mutability, instead of taking a mutable reference, you have uh, certain types that kind of hold a value, and they are um, you're doing things that would that could be unsafe, but uh, th these types are set up so that uh, they are safe. They have uh, they have certain limitations, certain rules, so that you can um, you can actually make changes safely uh, instead of uh, you know just using a mutable reference, which uh, you know, sometimes can be limiting because um, you know if you uh, if you have a method and and you have like a mutable um, reference, um, you can um, you know you can't bring in like an immutable reference at the same time. Uh, there can be um, you know you might have reasons why you want to uh, keep everything immutable, but you still want to make uh, some small changes to uh, little parts of your struct. And uh, here is. Um, Here's one small example of that. So imagine that uh, you know we have this. Uh, we're we're a company and we are making a phone. And so uh, we have a bunch of things that uh, that we imagine we don't want to change. So company name, we don't want to change that. Model name, well you make the model name once, that doesn't change. Screen size never changes. Memory that um, we you know uh, this this model has a certain memory. We're not changing it. The date, of course, but this uh, this on sale, uh, we would like to uh, you know change this, and uh, but we don't want to say like uh, you know make everything mutable. And you can imagine that this struct is maybe like two hundred fields, like it's a lot of company data, and we don't want people to uh, go around changing it. And um, you know we just want to have like a little bit of uh, of uh, mutability on the inside, so you can't say you know right now. Uh, on sale equals false. You can't do that right now. So this is um, where we might want to see some uh, interior mutability. And then there's a <clears throat> one other common example is uh, let's say you're implementing a trait, and uh, we have you know somebody made a, a Rust library and has this really uh, really fantastic trait, and it's called awesome trait, and it has like uh, you know. 50 functions and they're all really cool. So they're like this. Uh, they are, we really want to implement this trait uh, for our book struct. So we have this book here. Uh, it's got a name, it's got a number. And uh, so we go to uh, to implement this trait and imagine that these ones are already, you know, there's some, there's some code inside there, blah, blah, blah. And they don't need to be implemented. So let's just copy it out. Um, so that uh, the compiler doesn't complain, but this one, uh, this one you implement it yourself, and it is called return number, and it takes a reference to self and uh, returns a U32. But with our book, uh, when we when we use this, we actually want to uh, we want to change it. So we would like to say uh, self dot uh, number uh, plus equals ten, and then we would like to return self dot number. But uh, you know this is a uh, the uh, the signature says uh, you know you can't change the signature in a trait, um, especially one made by somebody else. You can't touch that code. So uh, you know if you try to try to do that, it'll say, "Hey, you should uh, you should put in a mute self." And then of course we get a sinking feeling because we know this is not going to work. And uh, it says, "Hey, the trait uh, you have to have a, a self a reference to self." can't be immutable reference to self so you know what can we do we really want to change this number before we, we return it and what do we do and that is when you uh, get into uh, the interior immutability and the uh, the flexibility you get there and uh, we're not going to change this just yet but we're going to look uh, at the first one uh, a little bit it's called cell and this is a um, this is a um, so a cell, you can, you can imagine a cell is either like a living cell or a room. You have like cells inside uh, inside monasteries and jails, and there's a, there's something inside it, and you can um, you can safely um, 
you can safely copy things in and out. And if you look at the source, it's kind of interesting because here uh, it's got a T and inside that is this thing called unsafe cell. Uh, you don't have to think about unsafe cell. You never touch it, um, but it's uh, it's kind of it's built on top of this uh, this other type that uh, unsafe unsafely gives you the possibility to change. And then on top of that, they have all of these um, these implementations to make sure that uh, to make sure that it is safe. So like here uh, you have uh, implement uh, non you know not sync for cell for uh, for cell and uh, for uh, Let's see. So that is like, uh, so you don't send it between threads. You don't want to have like multiple threads uh, changing your uh, your cell. So you have a limitation there. You have here, uh, you know, copy. Um, it uh, it uses uh, copy types for the most part. And uh, so cell is uh, basic. It's best used for uh, for copy types. Um, and uh, you know, this right here is a is a U thirty two. And it's a copy type, so this is a uh, a good uh, candidate for our cell. And also this here, this uh, this bool is a copy type, and so we can uh, we can use a cell for that. So let's uh, we'll do that in the next video and start making some changes.